Welcome to another video guys. Today we are out at Lang Lang. We have finally managed to get one of our days off with the weather being nice and not being in lockdown. So we are sending it today. We're heading out at high tide and a fish all the way. I think it's just going on high tide now. Um, it might still be even coming in and then we're going to once it swings around we're fishing all of the whole run out and half of it back in so it's pretty much a full day I'm out here at around quarter to nine and i won't be heading in until about 5 30. today we are searching for snapper and gummy sharks mainly gummy sharks but it is middle of august there could be some early reds around usually we start searching for them around september but we have caught some in august in previous years so it is a beautiful beautiful day so we'll get cracking and i want to get out there and enjoy we've got really flat water light northerlies and because metro is still in lockdown i'm the only one here so try and make the most of it and get out there and catch a feed <laughs> Anchor is deployed. Now we need to get our baits stuff sorted out. I have some squid. It's pretty bright out here. I might put sunnies on. Um, we have squid, some old salmon, and pilchard. So we'll do one of each on each rod. One rod has a circle hook. Um, the rest a double snell, um, just in case there's snap around, because sometimes they're a bit finicky at the start of the year. So, hopefully, doesn't take too long. It is slack tide, so we might have to wait for the tide to get going before we get any action, but hopefully we can get into some gummies and snapper. All right, first up, little rod. I haven't used this one that much, you wouldn't have seen. It's actually one of my older setups as I've got one getting serviced. So, it's a little sinker slider there, a couple of little suicides there. This one will have the pilly on. I need to get an actual chopping board, so I brought out this thing that I had at home. So that way I don't... My last hull ended up very smelly and cuts all over it, so this one will try and look after a bit more. going on there just while the salmon defrosts since it's not flowing too hard it shouldn't spin yet all right we just had a little bit of boppy action on this one that's a circle hook that was on that one it would have been going good but um because you can usually pin them easy with the double snell suicides but it looks pretty small so i didn't eat the whole bait and run off which is what the circle hook is designed for. It's interesting because they're both pillies, that one's been out there for longer, but 
for some reason. It's found that piece. Hopefully it's still on there. Only slightly pinned to though. Hopefully it screams off soon. Feel like the squid should be gonna go. That looked like it surely you can hook up with that kind of bobbiness. It's gotta be on, surely. Doesn't seem too big. Could be a tangled gummy. Let's have a look. I think it might be tangled gummy. It hasn't really ran. Feels like it's like trying to kick. Now I feel it unraveling, I reckon. Ugh. Here. That's kind of, he's not bad, he might be a keeper. He might be on the smaller side though. He's just got that tangleness going on. Oh, 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 oh. And then they get free and then they go nuts. <laughs> he's just going nuts. <laughs> uh, it's good to be back, how do you? Very grateful that I can actually get out as well. The only thing with gummies and double hooks, you gotta be careful. Very careful. Get some of that line out. Because they have a random hook there that is gonna be flinging around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're actually not the worst. Fat, surprising. Oh, I haven't done wrestling gummies in a while. I'll get closer to his head. So control the movement a bit more. Get the hook out. No. Chill out. Squid. He might be. I think he is a keeper. And we might keep one because I don't know if I'm going to get any more. Um, I'll give him a measure anyway. It's only got to be 45 from between that last gill and the start of his tail, which is definitely going to be that. Um, just hold him in the water for a little bit. And I'll sort that one out and be back with you guys. Might chuck this rod in the water so it's don't have the hooks flying around. That's about 40 there. So it's definitely a keeper. Just depends if I think I want to keep other ones or just roll with this for the first keeper anyway, I think. This guy should have been bled out enough, hopefully. Nice in there. <laughs> hmm. You'd think, surely. Oh, that one looks like it might be on. Yeah. 
seagull ray. <laughs> that time of the year. Who knows? It's got some go to it there. one in. Uh, it's not really bopping. At the start it felt like it might have been, but the fact it's going so far feels more oh, bitten off. That's just outrageous. So chafed. So chafed. My God, things are everywhere. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, good run to it. All right, we'll re rig that one up. The heavy one in the circle. Bloody hell. All right, not much has went on. We have had that one gummy, very small bites, and something big that bit us off. The flow is not picked up like I thought it might. Um, so I'm going to quickly wind in the rods, pull up the anchor, drift down to where there's a bit of a narrower channel and it's deeper. Hopefully it's got a bit more flow going through it, and that way might be a bit more fish cruising through and gummies. So give that a whirl because we're going to have, hopefully, a bit more action. Alright, we're actually finding some ridiculous looking marks, which is weird. Um, there's a lot more than... Um, had a really good patch before that were on the bottom and then the, after that there was some higher but we might just have a little squeeze and anchor up near them because the other spot I didn't even see any marks nearly that good um, who knows what they are could be snapper could be the old silver ghosts could also be which I don't think many people realize it could be actually a school of perch out here um, some big ones of those, so who knows? Let's have a look. I'm a little bit out of the game with the sound at the moment, especially snapper wise, because I haven't done it for a while. So once you get dialed back in or you're doing it more consistently, you get more used to what depth and what they look like. Um, I mean, lots of estuary stuff lately, so I'm used to looking for stuff that's <laughs> a lot smaller, and I'm usually using the side scan, so. That just looks promising that there's that much stuff on the bottom. And that's a little edge there, which I like as well. This looks good. Dong them on the head. I reckon this blue one should be gonna go. Surely. Oh, bouncy enough. It's seeming all right. It could be a tangled gummy. That's quite often the case. But we're hoping we might get a sneaky red. Oh, damn it. You're kidding. Another. Shredding. Arr. 
toothies are in force, man. That could have been just a little schoolie. Would have been all right, but... God damn it. And that one looks like it's gonna go. It's the same thing. I'm gonna get bitten off again. I'd be angry. <laughs> Surely not. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Same thing again, it's getting ridiculous. Seems pretty good, which is kind of scare me. Come on, be a snapper. It's not bouncing much. Is it? What is it? Little seven giller. Little bastards. <sighs> they suck. It's a real little one, this one. He's tiny. He's probably eating all my other baits, isn't he? See how easy that one was to get in compared to the other thing that was screaming off, so I don't know what the other one was. Oh, these things suck. That's a really little one. <laughs> Unfortunately in the kayak, I'm gonna have to try and um, cut him off. We'll try and not let him have too much. All right, and then they actually got really sharp teeth. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Don't you get tangled up, don't. Well, that works. Oh, no. Rust. Right. Still rigging up. Shreddy, shreddy. Shredded. Shredded. Alright, I gotta re rig that one too. Just went ham on a little picker. This is bloody southern rock cod. Now, yeah. last season, a couple of people actually caught snapper on live ones of them. Look at that. Um, tempted to chop him up for bait, but I do have kind of good enough other stuff, and he's not the best. If he was a snapper, I mean, not a snapper, if he was a snapper, I'd be laughing. Um, if he was a cooter, or a pike, or a salmon, I reckon I'd keep him as bait, but I don't even know if he's big enough, so we'll let him go. All right, the deep section has not worked either. We've only caught that seven giller here. It has been a very, very slow day, but I think we will have one last move. We'll have a crack in the shallows, so usually if the fish are up there, they're up there for one reason, and that's to feed. So we'll have a little grind in there just until it's time to head back in. So hopefully that last spot we produce some more action. At least one more gummy would be nice. One of those random reds would be awesome. And honestly, 
anything else would be an absolute bonus. So let's see if that shallows area is a little saviour for us. Absolute cracking day. So that is always a positive even if the fishing has been slow. It's always nice to get out here when it's just like this. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we've anchored up in about 0.8. So quite shallow. It's low tide right now, so hopefully not too long until it swings around and starts running in, and then we'll be up on the flats where the fish and stuff should, and gummies should be cruising around. Um, so yes, hopefully we can find some fish in the shallows here. Good thing is when they hook up here, they go pretty nuts and like to get airborne. So hopefully we can find some of them. Doolies. It's not ready for the aerial strike. I think it's just an eagle, right? On the flats. Um, kind of went nuts. Whatever it is, it's struck on the surface like absolute crazy. I don't feel it's too big, so it must be just, just an eagle. Just went crazy mode. I'm doing doughies. Yep, big eagle. <laughs> oh, they're crazy. Oh, you're stuck on the bottom, being a little stingray dog. Cut him there, because he doesn't want a bar of this. Doing nothing, unless I hear and drag, because I keep missing, <laughs> keep missing opportunities picking up too early. So hopefully, that goes and then just runs off. But... Come on. That's got to be on now. Oh, what is that? Bit me off. Okay, it's either a little schoolie or a little um, seven giller. It's got a tail. It's got a. What do we got? Has it got a. Does that have a dorsal? I reckon it did. I reckon that was a schoolie. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, the sun is heading down. It's blinding me, but it is heading down and it is time for me to head in. If I was a bit more keen and I had sorted out this new hull of mine and had a light, I would be staying out for the bit of the dark, but unfortunately I don't have a light rigged up on this new hull yet, 
Um, I'm going to switch over to the Burley Pro Orb, so I still haven't ordered one, so I need to get onto that for this snapper season coming up. I was using an FPV one on the other kayak, but it's a bit top heavy and just find it hard to mount when it's that top heavy as well. So, and where it's got this little ball attachment, not a huge fan. So, yeah, I actually prefer it for camping. So it's a camping light that I use it for now. So we'll get that sorted out. So that way in the future, we can do some of those early morning or sunset bites for the snapper because quite often early season that's the best time to get them but we gave it a red hot crack today lots of toothy things around um, I just checked the footage that last one you didn't actually see in shot which I really wanted to see I wanted to see if I was just seeing things or if there definitely was a dorsal there because when I first seen it I thought oh that's a decent gummy like a real decent gummy for here and then I got bitten off and I was like, maybe it was a seven killer because then it started thrashing even further. But I'd, I'll just never know. Lots of bite offs today. So at least we got that first gummy. Was a bit slow. They were slow tides that I fished today, but you can't always pick the right tides when the weather is good like that and you finally got a chance to fish. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoy.